adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix or adjugate matrix of a square matrix is the transpose of the matrix formed by the cofactors of the elements of the determinant. Using the elements of the determinant, we find the minus and using that minus, we find the cofactors. Cofactors are the signed minus and with that cofactors, we can find the adjoint matrix. That is the transpose of the cofactors is called the adjoint matrix. To calculate the adjoint of a matrix, we have to follow the procedure. First of all, we have to find the minor. That is, we have to calculate the minor for each element of the matrix. The second step is to form the cofactor matrix. From the minors, we have calculated. At last, we have to form the adjoint from the cofactor matrix. That is, transposing of the cofactor is called the adjoint matrix. For example, let us find the adjoint of the following matrix. Take the ma matrix, that is, this is a square matrix. 1, 2, 3, 0, 5, 0, 2, 4, and 3. Let us find the adjoint matrix for this. Step 1. First of all, we have to find the minor of each element of the matrix. What is minor? Minor of an element. This one, 1 is the element A11. And uh, the minor of 1 is represented by M11. To find the minor, uh, we leave the row and the column in which the element belongs to. That is, the number 1 belongs to the first row and the first column. And the rest of the elements is 5, 0, 4, and 3. First, you cross multiply the uh, diagonal that is 5 and 3. 5 into 3 minus and the next diagonal that is 4 and 0 which gives 15 and uh, the minor of the first element 1 a11 is 15 m11 is 15 and the second element a12 and the element is 2 and the minor of the second element is represented by M12 leaving the first row and the second column because the number 2 belongs to the first row and the second column and the rest of the elements are 0, 0, 2 and 3 that is this 0, 0, 2 and 3 cross multiply 0 and 3 and 2 minus subtract 2 and 0 that is 0 into 3 minus 2 into 0 which gives 0 and F. and the value of M12 is 0 next and the element A13 and it is represented by M13 leaving out the first row and the third column we can find the elements 0, 5, 2 and 4 cross multiply 0 and 4 and subtract with 5 into 2 and m, the value of m13 is minus 10. In the same way, uh, this a21, this element 0, for this element 0, the minor is represented by m21. The value of m21 is minus 6. Right. Now, for the element 5 that is A22 and the minor is represented by M22 leaving the second row and second column we, we have the rest of the elements 1, 3, 2 and 3 multiply 3 and 1 and subtract with 2 into 3 that is 1 into 3 minus 2 into 3 which gives minus 3 the value of M22 is minus 3 and for the minor for the element uh, A23 that is 0 is represented by M23 uh, of M23 is equal to 0 in the same way uh, the next element that is A31 which is equal to minus 15 M31 is equal to minus 15 and for the element uh, a32 it is represented by m32 which is equal to 0 m32 is equal to 0 and at last 
is the last element A33. It lies in the third row and third column. So we leave the third row and third column. We have the rest of the elements 1, 2, 0, and 5. And the minor of this element is represented by M33, which is equal to 1 into 5 minus 0 into 2, which is equal to 5. And M33 is equal to 5. Step 2. And with all the minus we have found, we just form a matrix with that elements in the same order. 15, 0, minus 10, minus 6, 3, 0, minus 15, 0, and 5. Now, step 3. Uh, to find the cofactor of each element of the matrix, cofactor is assigned minor. Assigned minor is called a cofactor. Using the formula, and the cofactor is represented by Cij. And the formula is minus 1 to the power i plus j, m i j. Minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into m11 for the first element that is a11 or the first minor m11 first minor and the second minor minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 and the same way for the third element minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 the 1 plus 3 because 1 is the i and 3 is j. 1 represents the row that, that is it is in the first row and 3 represents the column it is in the third column. The same way for this element minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into m21. This is because it is in the second row and the first column and this element minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 it is in the second row and the second column and this is minus 1 to the power 2 plus 3 it is in the second row and the third column minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 it is in the third row and the first column minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 it is in the third row and second column minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3 it is in the third row and third column uh, minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 that is minus 1 square with, and it becomes positive so this is 1 into m11 and this minus 1 to the power 3 and it is again it is a negative and minus m minus of m12 in the same way uh, this is positive m13 negative m21 m22 minus m23 plus m31 minus m32 plus m33 in the example we have seen let us use this formula cij which is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into mij Using that formula in the minus which we have found on the above problem, we can calculate the cofactors and the result resultant answer is plus of plus 15 minus 0 plus of minus 10 minus of minus 6 plus of minus 3 minus 0 plus of minus 15 minus 0 plus of plus 5. And at last, and they are the cofactors. At last, it is the step 4. We are here we are going to fi find the adjoint. Adjoint is equal to transpose of the cofactors. So to calculate the adjoint matrix, just put the elements in rows to columns in the cofactor matrix. That is, this is the transpose. That is, we have to convert the elements in the first row to first column and the second row to second column and the third row to the third column. That is 15, 0, minus 10 plus 6 minus 3 0 minus 15 0 5 that is 15 0 minus 10 this is the first row we are converting it here into the first column 15 0 minus 10 again 6 minus 3 0 this is the second row and we are converting this into the second column 6 minus 3 0 in the same way the third row minus 15 0 5 and we are converting it into the third column minus 15 0 and 5 this is the adjoint of the matrix which we have to find